G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What I'm going to be looking at today's video is how to multiply any two types of numbers with one another. So any type, any you know, a three digit by a two digit or a four digit by a three digit number. And we're going to have a look at these and, and, and look at a different way of doing these. I've been looking at this sort of thing in previous videos and I'm going to put a link up right now. There you go, it's there um, on, on different ways I do this. But today is going to be a bit different one because I'm going to be looking at this using uh, boxes and, and a basically a little table, very easy table to draw up and, a, and a, an easy way of doing this just in case it's, it might be a different way you prefer doing it. So without much further ado, let's work out 324 times 15. So how do we work this out now? As I said, to, to do this, I, I'm going to be using these boxes now. We're going to need a, a table which is going to be 3 boxes by 12 boxes. Okay, so I'm going to draw this here right now. So there's my 2 by three. And the other thing you draw on these tables are these diagonal lines sloping down to the left. It's very important, I think, with this also. Try to be as neat as you can. Um, otherwise you're getting all sorts of troubles with maths when you're not you're not being neat as we you probably realise. So three hundred and twenty-four times fifteen. And how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna go three times one, two times one, four times one, three times five. 2 times 5 and 4 times 5 and I'm going to write the answers to each of these questions so the tens go in this part and the units go in this part so 3 times 1 is 3 2 times 1 is 2 1 times 4 is 4 3 times 5 is 15 5 times 2 is 10 and 5 times 4 is 20 there you go I've already got the answers now how do I get my uh, final answer well I just start adding up in this diagonal direction so let's have a look nothing and nothing is nothing 4 plus 2 is 6 5 plus 1 plus 2 is 8 and 4 plus uh, 3 plus 1 is 4 there you go that's the answer that's pretty cool right we can do this with bigger numbers I'll put a bigger one up right now okay so let's do a uh, 1000 342 and we'll times that by 600, uh, 643. Okay, so we're going to need a box how big? That's right, 3 by 4. So let's draw that in. So here's our box, which is going to have to fit three rows and four columns and these diagonal lines sloping down once again. So, we'll write in our uh, question, which is 1342 times 643. And I'll start putting in my answers now. 1, 6 is 6. 6, 3 is 18. Uh, 6, 4 is 24. 2, 6 is 12. Okay, next, next uh, row. 1, 4 is 4. 4 3s are 12, 4 4s are 16, 4 2s are 8. Okay, next one. 1 3 is 3, 3 3s three are 9, 3 4s are 12, and 3 2s are 6. Now we can start adding these up diagonally. Okay, we have a 6. 2 plus 8 is 10, carry the 1. 10, so 1 plus 9 is 10, 11, 17, 19. Okay, carry the 1. 1 plus 3 is 4, 6, 7, 11, 12. Carry the 1. 1 plus 4 is 5, 6. 1 plus 4 is 5, 6, 14, 16. Carry the 1. And 6 plus 1 is 7, plus this 1 here is 8. So our answer is 862,906. That's pretty easy, right? Well, it's a really, really good method. I, I really, really like this method as well. Uh, I tend to use a slightly different one. I think for bigger numbers, I actually, in some ways, prefer this method. I think it's a, a nice, simple, cut and dry sort of one, especially for, for kids and that sort of deal. It's a really good way also of getting them to practice their times tables. But it's a, it's a good one also if you don't like juggling so many numbers necessarily in your head at once. Okay, hopefully uh, you like that method and you might give it a, a bit of a shot. We'll see you next time.